So, um, thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thanks very much, John, for having us here. I really appreciate it. I have to apologize, folks. Normally, my voice is a little bit more, much louder, but uh, I had to play four days in a row this past weekend and kind of blew my voice out. So, uh, and we've got five days ahead of us after today. So it'll be interesting to see if I'm actually talking by the end of Monday. So um, we're going to start, we're going to play a bunch of French Creole music for you, but this is not Creole music from Louisiana, although we might do a few from Louisiana. We're doing Illinois, Missouri, and Indiana French Creole music, and we're going to start with a song called Bonne Femme is the name of it. Thank you. I'll try to sing one here for you. This is a song that actually comes from Vincennes, Indiana. Anybody here ever been to Vincennes, Indiana before? All right, I got a few that have been over there. Well, a couple of us live over by there, and of course it's an old French Creole town. This is a song from there called Obwame Dame, uh, which means the girls to the woods is the name of it.
joli petit point Qu'est-ce qu'il se promène Il se promène là La scène pour sa peine Qui se promène là La scène pour sa peine Qui se promène là Thank you. We'll do a like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a, having to stretch out what I'm what I'm actually singing, but we can't do a show without doing this tune. This is a uh, this is a song called Grandmother Supplant is the name of it, which means grandmother complains. And I'll let Doug tell you the story about this old Vincennes French song. So before we uh, actually do this song, we need to establish first of all by a showing of hands. Does uh, anybody? Sitting beside you, uh, namely a grandma complain. Go ahead and raise your hand if, if you do have a grandma that sitting beside you that complains. Golly, we don't hardly see anyone out there. <laughs> uh oh, uh, maybe not by volunteer. <laughs> so, what happens here is uh, grandma is continuously complaining to grandpa that she is cold and hungry. So he decides, well, I guess I'll do something about this. He goes out into the wilderness to gather some food and some firewood to hopefully make Grandma com uh, complain less. But he does not come back home. So any guesses on why Grandpa does not come back home? He went to the casino. <laughs> Found a what? <laughs> any other guesses out there? <laughs> Well, what happens here is Grandpa gets eaten by a wolf. But you know what? Grandma is still complaining because she's still cone hungry and really doesn't care about Grandpa. And this is most likely based on a true story back in the day. But we're just the messengers. So uh, it is a love story, by the way. It is a love song. And something to keep in mind is uh, these old Creole, Illinois, Missouri, Indiana, French Creole songs that we play the slow ones unfortunately do not have a good outcome so we'll get you men mentally prepared for that starting with this song here back to you dennis One, two, three, Jig a don't it? Tarep pa por mo 
vieux grand-père Jigadonde Pour lui qu'il est nous ont mangé Chomp Lui qu'il est nous ont mangé Burp Lui qu'il est nous ont mangé Chomp Jigadonde Did you hear what happened to the grandpa in the story? <laughs> like I was mentioning, uh, it didn't have a good outcome. So You are now mentally prepared for these slow and beautiful tunes we'll be doing later on. So. Well, we're going to do a, a, a pretty quick instrumental for you. Um, a lot of these songs, well, most of the songs that we're doing tonight are songs that I learned um, about 32, between 30, uh, between 29 and 32 years ago uh, that I learned over in southeast Missouri in an area called the Old Mine. So what you're saying, you was five years old? Whenever I was. You... I was five years old at the time. <laughs> Started in this? <laughs> I, I wished I could say that. Um, I was in college at the time. I'd just gotten into college, and I'd moved to Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and while I was there, I had learned about uh, the fact that there were still French-speaking people uh, in southeast Missouri around the old mines area, all descendants of the lead miners and a few fur traders uh, over in that area. And at the time, there were around between five and 600 people that spoke French. And uh, I kind of happened into the community and got accepted into the community. I showed a lot of interest in just wanting, to, I was just wanting to learn to play the fiddle. At the time, I didn't have any, uh, I wanted to hear the French language. I didn't have any intention of learning the Illinois, Missouri French language. But our French is different. It does sound different. Si par exemple, puis je m'achète en français, tu peux voir si nos français, c'est pas la même chose que si on parlait dans la France. Tu vois, c'est nos français, c'est comme, ouais, presque comme le Canadien. Et si par exemple, our French is a little bit like Canadian in some ways and it's also a little bit like cajun uh in other ways but it's neither our our illinois french is just is just that it is illinois french and um in fact uh doug and i were together over to, we were doing a, a a rendezvous french festival on on sunday uh down in uh chester illinois or not chester uh Prairie de roche illinois just north of chester and um uh, had a half a dozen uh, Canadians, some Quebecois that wanted to talk to me. And so I spoke to them for a while and, and it was so funny because uh, I actually did go to school. I learned to speak French in the Old Mines community in Missouri, some in Cahokia. Uh, I learned by ear. I didn't learn to read and write French. I learned by ear. And um, so the, the French I speak, some people call it something like pawpaw French is, is uh, what people often say. And, but I did go to school for six months in, in, uh, in Quebec and uh, the University of Quebec. And so I, I, I went there to learn to read and write because uh, I was illiterate. And while I was there, I kind of was able to figure out the accent, the Quebecois accent and the Canadian accent. It's, you know, it's like I said, it's similar to ours. But it's not exactly, but it was funny because the Quebecois, as soon as I heard them talking, I started going to them so that they could understand me. And, uh, and it was funny because they said, wow, your French sounds a lot like ours. And I said, oh, let me change it. And so I changed it back to more like Missouri, Illinois French. And they're like, no, stop, stop, go back to the Canadian <laughs> so we can understand you. And uh, well, they're, like I said, there's similarities. But our French music is old and with it, um, our, with the language, it's old. And so we have a lot of songs that you might say cross cultural lines in a way. And we'll do an instrumental for you that you might say this is our one song that definitely comes out and kind of sounds a little bit like bluegrass in some ways. And it's, it's an old song that came from Richwoods, Missouri. 
In French, we call that richut, is the name of it, richut, which is the rich lead shoots, richut. And it's a song called Jury Baker, is the name of it. Gerard Baker, is the name. So we'll do it for you now. I want you also to pay real close attention to Doug Hoff's hands on this. Notice that his fingers never leave his hands while he's playing on this song. Thank you very much. We'll do uh, we'll do another little uh, thing here for you that um, uh, I promise that uh, we we you know we don't do a bunch of Cajun music you know in this band we do have a band that does a lot of Cajun music but it's not this group and because I used to live in Louisiana too I kind of kind of I might say kind of made a journey of French America in a lot of ways and so but we'll do this song here for you this is the Cajun national anthem. Uh, something called La Jolie Blonde or the Pretty Blonde.
Uh, Julie Blanc. I want you to remember that and keep that in mind because you see, that's a really pretty song. It's kind of like just basically like a country song in French, but nobody really dies. And well, I, you know, I say no person dies in that song, you know. And so, basically, I will I will say that you know country music and Cajun music do have a lot of affinity. Anybody uh, ever been to Louisiana before? I'm kind of curious. Oh, a lot of people been to Louisiana. Wow, more people been to Louisiana than they've been to Vincennes, Indiana. You need to rectify that. So, but you know, it's funny uh, because there are a lot of similarities between Cajun music and country music. You know, some of those, some of the, some of the themes are similar, you might say, but, but there are differences, you know, for example, for example, like in, uh, okay, well, for country music. So in country music, you know, for example, your dog dies, country music. Oh, you know, in Cajun music, your alligator dies, your do alligator dies, you know. So like in, in country music, you know how they say like, you know, your, your, your pickup truck breaks down? Well, well, in Southern Illinois, we put them on blocks. So, but, but in Cajun music, your P-Rogue sinks. That's your boat, your boat, your boat sinks. So third one, kind of a difference, similar but different. So in country music, your wife leaves you, okay? Standard theme, but in, country, but in Cajun music, she comes back. Yeah, usually with a baseball bat. But anyway, so, <laughs> I tell you what, we'll do a, we'll do another uh, do another fun song here for you. This is uh, this is one called Divian Tu Bataille. This is our Christmas song of the evening. I know y'all are in a Christmas mood, so we're gonna put you. <laughs> yeah, listen to this one real close because it's gonna remind you of like a uh, uh, Wayne the Manger, Silent Night, Silver Bells. You can tell it's a Christmas song whenever we do it, so. Actually, I had learned this tune from uh, two different people, in a way. There was a singer, a lady by the name of Ida Portell, who lived in Potosi, Missouri. She was in her late 80s uh, when I learned this from her. But I was also learning to play the fiddle part of this song from a gentleman by the name of Charlie Paggi, a Paggi. Of course, she told me, you know, this is a church song. Actually, this is a this is a church song, and she said, Dennis, she said, you know, this is a church song. You're supposed to do this slow, you know. She says, don't do it like that old man Padgy. He's in trouble. He's going to a bad place, <laughs> you know. And so, how are we going to do it, Doug? Oh, we're going to do it fast. You got it. We're going to do it fast. <laughs> I said, 
tout bajar, ça c'est tout, ça c'est tout bajar, ça c'est tout. Et même quand tu songes, tu es déçu. Quand dans les louanges, de te mettre les mots Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Absolutely. All right, I'll tell you what. We, I promise, like I say, we mainly do, and that was one, that was from Missouri, and that was also from Southern Illinois, but I'll tell you what, we'll take you all down to Louisiana again. We'll do one, we'll do one that's almost, almost completely in English, but I'll get Doug to tell you a little bit about the background of this song. This is a, a song about my tutti fruity. <laughs> All right, so uh, we've established that a lot of you have been down to Louisiana. There's a gentleman down there uh, that wrote this song about his uh, about his uh, wife or his girlfriend, or also his everything. The, it's called "Don't Mess with My Toot Toot." Toot Toot means my everything or my all. So I tell you what, we're gonna do here. Um, we'll probably play this a little bit and then we're going to get you folks involved a little bit later on so we'll want full crowd participation on this or we'll come out and visit every single one of you until you do participate that's so, right so we're going to feature uh, he'll get, play He'll play right next to you, <laughs> you <know. laughs> actually we're going to feature Greg on this one alright called Don't Mess With My Toot Toot
this guy was really jealous. Well, you look as much. You do as much as time. Well, you better watch it now. You're gonna, gonna have, have yourself a case. I'm gonna mess your face. Don't you mess with my toot Don't you mess with my toot You can have the other woman. Don't you mess with my toot Don't you mess with my toot don't you mess with my tutu You can have the other woman Don't you mess with my tutu So as you can tell, the lyrics to this song is very complicated and intricate. So we're going to have a little uh, rehearsal here. So we're going to say, don't you mess. And you're going to say, toot toot. Everybody have that? Don't you mess with mine. Don't you mess with mine. The other woman, don't you mess with mine? Don't you mess with mine? Don't you mess with mine? You can have the other woman, don't you mess with mine? Hey, you did great. participation yeah it give yourself great. a big hand out there you did fabulous sometimes we have to come out there and get after you but this was a good crowd <laughs> <laughs> all right i tell you what we'll um i want to th this is the uh shameless self-promotion part of the show i haven't heard that in forever <laughs> i know it's been a while i think since montana i think the last time we were in montana but just to mention that we do have some cds available in case you actually have uh, something that still plays one, um, but uh, we're uh, we, we we still have them available. We you know you can't get them in stores. Uh, I know because we've tried. We try to get them in stores, but there's no place to get them. But anyway, we do have some CDs available. If you're interested in some of the music you hear tonight, some of the tunes that we've done, um, we'd certainly appreciate it. And um, mentioned that we're actually working on a volume four. CD, yeah, an actual physical CD. We're not going to release it on iTunes. People are going to have to buy a physical CD, and some people may just have to buy it to just look at it, you know. But <laughs> so, Dennis, let's say uh, somebody's interested in this CD. Um, what type of currencies are available for purchase here? Well, we can take we can take dollars, and because we stopped at Best Buy. We can also take credit card. There you go. Too. We can also take credit card. So if you have a credit card, we can make it work. But um, they all have booklets in them, like 12 and 16 page booklets with a lot of information about the songs, the lyrics. So you get French and English lyrics and some info about uh, some of our culture and some about the history of the music. So, um, and we're going to do, uh, speaking of, like I say, we're working on a, on a fourth volume of CDs uh, or CD now. First one actually was recorded back in 2005, and so then the second one came out in uh, 08, and then the next one came out in 2012, and now 10 years later, we're finally working on number four, and we're going to do a song for you that is actually going to be on number four. This is a, a song that is, um, this is uh, one that comes from Prairie de Roche, Illinois. It's uh, which is down just south of St. Louis along the Mississippi River. This is a song that, um, it's, uh, well, you can translate it as the bird, basically, uh, but it's called Rosignol Sauvage. I'll just uh, sing a little bit of it for you. Like I said, I'm kind of, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm kind of struggling a little bit with my voice, but 
We'll sing a little bit of it for you. It's a very, very pretty song. This was a song that I actually had I'd heard about many years ago from a, a singer, fiddle player, storyteller in old mines uh, by the name of uh, Pete Booyer. But he had gotten it uh, from a gentleman by the name of Percy Clare. And um, actually, Percy died many years ago. I never met him. But I knew a part of the song but had always been waiting for years to kind of fill in the second half of the song. And about a month and a half ago, I was in Prairie de Roche, Illinois, and met with Percy Clare's nephew, who had the rest of the song. And so uh, we were able to complete it uh, for the recording. But we'll, we'll just do a little bit of it for you. It is a pretty old song. This is one that you can find uh, parts of it in France, parts of it in Canada. But the one here is its own version. It's not exactly like the others. It's different lyrics and even different music to it. So we'll do it for it. But it's a pretty waltz. C'est la peur donnée, tu le vis, tu le sens au soir. Je t'en tu le sens au soir. Thank you. Very pretty song. We'll do uh, we'll do another uh, pick things up again just a little bit. Do another uh, instrumental for you. This one's another one also that's going to be on the new CD that uh, won't be out actually until probably August or September. Um, we just uh, we just actually finished it recording it. Um, most of it I still have some work to do, but we just did it in Vincennes, Indiana last month uh, that we were in the studio at Vincennes University. But this is a song that. I've had requested uh, to do for probably 25 years, and it's to me it's kind of like when people come up to a fiddle player and they ask you to play "Devil Went Down to Georgia" or "Freebird" or something like that, you know. And uh, you know, it, it's a song that is funny because almost everybody knows of it, but hardly anybody plays it. And it's and it's <laughs> it's one of those songs called uh, "Pray to Rosher Motion" is the name of it. And half the reason I would not play it is because of the name of it. Because people would call it Prairie de Rocher. Prairie de Rocher motion. In French, it's actually Prairie du Rocher, which means Prairie of the Rolling Rock. But a lot of folks around southwestern Illinois call it Rocher. So I was like, ooh. You know, it's kind of like having Vienna, Illinois. It's called Vienna. You know, or my, one of my favorites is Boku Creek. People call it Buckup. So, <laughs> anyway, here's something for you called the Prairie de Rocher Motion.
Thank you. We also like to call that song Sneaky D. Doug's the one that came up with that one. <laughs> so, all right. Well, uh, like I say, we don't do a lot of songs in English, but I like to I like to feature usually one that everybody knows or maybe everybody's heard of every now and again. So I'll get Doug to sing this one for you. This is um, uh, actually goes all the way down to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Has anybody ever vacationed down in Gatlinburg? All right, we've got a few people. Um, this song was written down in Gatlinburg, Tennessee at the Gatlinburg Inn. And a group by the name of the Osborne Brothers made this very popular. And it is just a, a great song. Uh, and uh, I'll just let the song speak for itself. I have to say one thing, though. If Doug Hoff over here is actually capable of getting to the entire song, all the lyrics and sing them without messing up or forgetting any, I think that deserves a standing ovation <laughs> at the end. <laughs> There's not very many of those because usually I forget the lyrics. <laughs> Once I had a gal on Rocky Top, half bear, the other half cat. Wild as a mink, but sweet as soda pop, I still dream about that. Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet on me. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee. Rocky Top, Tennessee Top, looking for moonshine still Strangers don't come down from Rocky Top Reckon that they never will Corn won't grow at all on Rocky Top Dirt's too rocky by far That's why all the folks on Rocky Top Get their corn from a jar Rocky Top, you Home sweet on me, good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee, Rocky Top, Tennessee. Life trapped like a duck in a pen. Quack, quack. All I know is it's a pity life can't be simple again. Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet on to me. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top, Tennessee. Rocky Top, Tennessee.
Oh, you earned a standing to... ovation. <laughs> Thank you, folks. I... <laughs> it is a small feat that I actually did remember those lyrics. <laughs> Thank you very much. He pulled it off. Yeah. I performed down in Gatlinburg for a program called Tunes and Tales for a couple of years, and it was mandatory that you had to learn that song. And it wasn't good when you forgot the lyrics. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, we've got uh, we got time, I guess, before it gets too dark out here. I think the sun's almost down, but we're going to try to squeeze in a couple more songs here for you. But uh, I, I I I told you earlier to make sure that you paid attention to that song, Jolie Blanc. We're going to do the Illinois and Missouri version of a song called, uh, basically, it's the Pretty Blonde or a Young Blonde. It's called a. Uh, um, uh, La Belle Blondine is the name of it, which means the pretty blonde. But now in this story, I hate to even tell you the story. Maybe Doug can tell you the story. Well, uh, first of all, we just want to establish it is a slow and beautiful tune, which if you remember, uh, we talked about that a little bit earlier. What happened is La Belle Blondine gets mad at her father, kills him, and buries him underneath the house. Am I getting this right so far, Dennis? All right. And so uh, a gentleman shows up on his uh, donkey and uh, is hunting for La Belle Blondine's dad and said, hey, where's your dad at? And La Belle Blondine replies, well, he went off to war. So uh, then he gets to thinking about this and he says, well, if he went off to war, how come his horse is right there beside the porch? And so uh, she can't come up with an answer for this. So next thing you know, uh, La Belle Blondine is swinging from a tree. So I think actually the horse was by the tree, wasn't he? <laughs> so right. yeah. So so anyway, uh, we're sorry about that. <laughs> we're just messengers, like we said, and unfortunately, it was probably based on a true story at some time or another. It's a terrible song, but it's slow and beautiful. So we'll do it for you. This is. Um one that I learned from a lady by the name of Annie Paget was her name. She was a great singer in the area, and Doug and I played on Sunday. Her uh, One of her daughters came to the show um, that we were doing at uh, Fort Deschard on Sunday. And uh, so she always loves to come out and hear me do the song because uh, she remembers when I used to hang out with her mother. She, her mother was in her almost in her 90s at the time, but she could just remember so many of these lyrics and uh, in French, did such a, you know, she could remember so many of these songs. And Anyway, it goes like this. C'est la belle blondine Malade l'ona C'est la belle blondine Qui fait une chanson Come on today, don't I 
It is a pretty song. It, it, it well, it's a pretty tune. The lyrics not so not so much if, if you know them <laughs> translated. But um, there are a lot of great songs. I, I wish we had time to do them all tonight. I wish my voice was capable of doing all of them all tonight. But but there are a lot of great songs that do come from the Illinois French. A lot of really pretty, pretty, pretty tunes, and um, a lot of old songs. But you know, we don't have very many new songs, so um, I think we'll end up um, maybe with a couple newer songs, And uh, but this song I want to do for you, just a little bit of it. I'm just going to do a little bit of this one because I want to end up on have Doug sing something for you before we end, but um, this is a song that I wrote partially. I wrote the lyrics to it, but I got the, I got the melody line from one of my fiddle teachers, a guy by the name of Roy Bouyer, and or Roy Bouyer. And so basically this is about the house parties, what it was like going to the house parties where I learned to speak French and where I learned to play a lot of these songs. And uh, so the song is called Booyer Stomp in honor of the Booyer family here. I used to hang out with a lot of them. stop well want to say thank you john again for having us here we really appreciate it and with the crossroads cultural connections i know they have a tip buck over there if you want to hit that for them they would certainly appreciate it and i really thank the group for bringing us in tonight and, and making this work really making it work uh really making it work out it was it was tough making this uh putting everything all the pieces together in this week uh, making it work because yeah we've got to uh We've got to go over and stay tonight uh, in Chicago and hop on a plane in the morning and fly to Connecticut. Uh, we've got a uh, festival to play the next couple of days in Connecticut and then fly back and 
play over in Missouri and then back to Macomb and, and Chillicothe. So this is all in all in – I won't be able to talk, folks, before this is over, I guarantee you. You know what? Uh, I want to add to that that uh, it was about a six-hour drive getting here, but we pulled up here, and uh, you, your town is a beautiful town here. We pulled up here, and you had a game going on over here. You had a community concert going on here. You had children playing over here in the uh, volleyball area, and... I tell you what, you got something special going on here, and we are honored to be here and be part of that. We really are. Yeah, very much so. Absolutely. Seriously, pulling up here reminded me of things when I was a kid, yeah. actually. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. nice. And uh, well, I want to quickly introduce everybody in the band to you. Over here playing his, playing his Hoffner bass. <laughs> this little tiny bass. But that thing sounds cool, everybody. All the way from Savoy, Illinois. You know where that is because Champaign-Urbana is actually a suburb of Savoy. Put your hands together, Mr. Greg Bigler over here on vocals and bass. Maybe Greg will grow into that bass one of these days. <laughs> over here on the guitar and vocals all the way from Allendale, Illinois, in southeastern Illinois, just a stone's throw from the Wabash River, south of Vincennes, Indiana, ways. Please put your hands together, Mr. Doug Hoff, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, over here in between us, he is keeping the Illinois, Missouri, Indiana uh, Creole language and music alive. And let me tell you, it's a history lesson every time that I'm on the road with him or up here on stage with him. Uh, he's a very talented individual. He plays not only that style of music, but he plays Western Swing as well, as well as uh, uh, Cajun Zydeco. All the way from Albion, Illinois, Mr. Dennis Stromat. Thank you. Thank you very much. And speaking of Cajun music, we're going to do a little, we'll do a little Cajun country slam for you. And I'll get Doug up here to the mic. We'll do that. I'll let him, I'll just, you go all the way. With okay. It. I, I, may, I, may, I may pass <laughs> off on this one tonight, but here's a little Hank Williams for y'all from about 1951, 52, something called Jambalaya. One, two, three. <laughs> Goodbye, Joe, me gotta go, me on my own. Me gotta go, blow the be road down the bow. My Vaughn, sweetest one, me on my own. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bow. Everyone, jump a like crawfish pie, pity gumbo. For the night, I'm gonna see my mature meal. Pick a top every jar, every gale. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bow.
Thank you, folks. We appreciate it. Thank you again, everybody. In case anyone is interested in a CD, we do have some available. Thank you very much.